Today we're making my favorite chicken recipe. We put five chicken legs into boiling hot water. And let me tell you, this is gonna be your favorite way to cook chicken. And after we put it in the boiling water, we go ahead and cover it up for five minutes. Okay, when it starts foaming like this, that's good because it actually helps crisp up the chicken. And this is gonna be some of the crispiest chicken legs you've ever had. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with some spices because we gotta have some seasoned chicken. So we're gonna put a lot of pepper on there. Now we're gonna come with some of this fresh garlic. We're just gonna kind of squeeze a little bit on there, 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 and there. Of course, I love heat. I know you do too. So we're gonna put some crushed red peppers on there. Crushed red peppers, because we want it spicy. And then we have some of this paprika. We're just gonna douse it because it makes a beautiful color on the chicken. We have some soy sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of soy sauce in there. And now we're gonna give it a nice little mixy mixy. Coat the chicken in the spices. It's looking amazing. We're gonna nice. cover this back up for another five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. Would you look at that? It's starting to look just like we want. Wow. Now we're gonna add a little bit of chicken broth in there because we wanna add a little bit more liquid because we do not want this all to evaporate. And there you go. I'm just gonna come back to a boil. We're gonna cover it back up and we're gonna cook it for another six to seven minutes. Okay, it's looking good, guys. It's looking good. Now we're gonna wow. come up with some secret ingredient, Old Bay seasoning. It's not just for fish. It says poultry on here. So we're gonna douse this because it is gonna make you come back for more. So now we're gonna give it a little mix it, mix it. And look at the sauce, it's thickening up just like we want it to. So now, we don't want it too thick. We're gonna go ahead and take some water. And just pour it in there and let that bring it to another boil and cook it for another 10 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Would you look at that? This Ooh. is what it start to look like. We want the sauce, well, the water to look like that. We're gonna go ahead and hit with a meat thermometer just to check if it's, if it's cooking the right way. I think chicken is supposed to be like 160 something. So we're- Yeah, 165 is cooked. Yeah, so 165. So this is like 190, 194. So I think we're, we're practically cooked. So now we're ready for the next step which is gonna be add some honey, and this is gonna give you that sweet, sweet, tangy taste Ooh. that everybody loves about my chicken. And then of course, some, some, some strawberry jam. This is gonna make this sauce like amazing. And I also like to throw some sesame seeds in there. Kyle, here's your reminder, <laughs> get my casserole. Get your casserole out, Kyle. So we're just gonna go ahead and mix this up and let it let it kind of reduce down a little bit more. And when that happens, it's gonna coat this chicken with the most amazing decadent sauce you've ever had in your mouth. Mm. And we're almost ready for the plating process. And let me tell you, it's almost fall off the bone. Okay, the sauce is reduced down enough. The chicken's been unplated. Wow. And we're just gonna go ahead and drizzle some of this sauce onto the finished chicken. And it's gonna give you the taste that you, oh my gosh, you want. We're gonna finish off with some of these freeze-dried chives. It doesn't get much more fresh than that. Beautiful color. Let it cool off for a little bit and we'll be ready for the taste test. Okay, it's been cooling for about six minutes. So total cook time is probably like 40 minutes. Um, but look at this, literally falls Ooh. off the bone. I mean, I don't, I don't know about you, but that's perfection, perfection. Okay, here we go. The ultimate test. 